In this video, we're going to talk about one of my favorite features in the ES2, which is using the sidechain input as a modulation source. Now, you might have heard of sidechain compression before, and that is where you use a compressor with an external input, usually a kick drum, to make other instruments like a bass line or a pad sound suck in time to the kick drum. Now we can actually use a sidechain here in the ES2 synth. Again, not many other synthesizers have this capability. The way the sidechaining works inside of Logic, as you can see this black bar up the top here, if it's minimized you'll need to click this little arrow here. And from here we can choose a sidechain input. Now if I move this over I've actually already got a little beat loop in here on a separate audio track. And if I play this back, it sounds like this. Okay, now I actually don't want to hear the beat, so I'm going to mute the beat. All right, and we just need that playing even though it's muted. So if we come here to the ES2, come to the sidechain input, we can set this to any audio track or software instrument. So I'm going to go to audio, and here's my crunchy funk beat. So now we're sending this audio track, and it could be anything you want, into the ES2. Now it's not going to do anything on its own because we need to set up a routing. So if I come here, let's actually choose the target as being both of the cutoff frequencies, so cutoff one and two. And for the source, I'm going to choose the sidechain. Let's crank this all the way up for now. And I might actually just use filter number two. So I'll move this over all the way to the right here in the filter section. I'll set this to maybe 24 dB and fat. If I play a chord, let's have a listen. Now I do need this to be playing back. Okay, so we can really hear that. Now if I play with the cutoff frequency, Bring that up a little bit, maybe add a little bit of resonance here. Let's set up filter number one here as a high pass filter, add a little bit of resonance. A little bit of drive there, and let's blend these two together. Now let's actually do this in parallel. So we can hear that the sidechain signal is moving the cutoff frequency of filters one and two. Now you don't just have to use this for the cutoff frequency, we could actually use this for some other routing such as the pitch. So if I come here to this target, we've got pitch one, two, three, I could change the source from LFO one to sidechain. I'll get rid of the via mod wheel, set that to off, and let's have a listen to how the volume of the sidechain affects the pitch if we play this back and increase the depth. So there's a lot of fun to be had using this sidechain modulation source.